In this video, we're going to be looking at invoicing lines from a single purchase order and then invoicing receipted lines from multiple orders in one invoice. To begin, I'll find my purchase order. This is the order that we've previously received items on one of our previous videos. So it'd be 106025. Currently, I've received three of our desks and five of our chairs. Now we need to receive the rest of our quantity and invoice these afterwards. So our posting date will be the next day. So in this scenario, the rest of our stock has come in the next day. So I'll change our posting date. I'm now ready to receive the rest of our items. And now our quantity to invoice and our quantity to received is the same. We'll enter our vendor invoice number. In this case, we'll say it's 1001. This will be dependent on vendor invoice that you're sent. Now that we've received our lines, now we can check our posted purchase receipts. In here we have our first shipment, in here our second. We can also check our statistics, and here we can see that our general and our invoice tab match up. We're now ready to invoice our lines. So we'll post and invoice. As our full quantity has been posted, our purchase order will now be deleted and put in our posted purchase invoice. We can then view the invoice and make sure everything is as it should be. Next, we'll look at invoicing multiple receipted lines in one invoice. So I'll search for purchase invoice. And I'll create a new one with our vendor name. In our information tab here, we've got details on our vendor. So now that we've entered our vendor, we have our purchase invoice number. We can enter our vendor invoice number. So this will be different again and based on documentation you receive. But in this case, we'll just use 1002. Now I can select line, functions, and get receipt lines. From here, I can see multiple orders have been received and I can select the lines that I want to invoice. If I control and click, I can select multiple lines. In this case, we'll receive all three of these items. In this case, we'll invoice all three of these items. You notice there's a description with the order that the lines have come from. We can do the same here. And now we're ready to invoice 